Fighting crime in Baltimore, it's an ongoing mission for police and city leaders. Now they're talking about bringing in others to help with their efforts. Yeah, today I was there when city, state and federal leaders met to discuss new efforts towards fighting crime and how it's going to impact us all moving forward. It is utterly impossible for a city to thrive when residents do not feel safe in their neighborhoods. While city leaders are working to fight crime in Baltimore, today Governor Larry Hogan, U.S. Attorney Eric Barron, and other state and federal leaders discuss new collaboration efforts to tackle crime in our communities. A few months ago, the General Assembly approved Governor Hogan's crime funding package. U.S. Attorney Barron says this promotes unity to devote more federal resources. First, I have established a new violent and organized crime section which I am expanding by 30 new state-funded positions, including prosecutors, investigators, and an analysts. Second, I have directed my staff to investigate and prosecute repeat violent offenders for any and all wrongdoing that meets our priorities. Finally, I have directed my staff to actively review firearms cases for violations of the federal school zone statute. He says because school grounds should be safe, sacred, and free of fear. Governor Hogan says a $3.5 million investment will go towards funding the new collaboration efforts. Uh, we formed a new Maryland Criminal Intelligence Network, which is an innovative data and information sharing system that emphasizes collaboration by connecting state-funded operational initiatives from counties and municipalities with state and federal law enforcement agencies. And already, the Maryland Criminal Intelligence Network has contributed to distributing or dismantling more than 1,800 criminal organizations in Maryland, seizing more than 30 million in cash from criminals, and removing 2,000 pounds of illegal drugs from our streets. Mayor Scott says it's collaborative efforts like these that support his comprehensive violence prevention plan aimed to have safer streets in Baltimore City. We are united in our mission to reduce violent crime and get individuals involved in that violence off our streets. Building and strengthening these key partnerships are critical when it comes to fighting violent crime. According to the mayor's office, where the Group Violence Reduction Strategy, or GVRS, has been implemented, which is in the Western District, non-fatal shootings are down 24% compared to other portions of the city where it has not yet been implemented.